Get ready, boys and girls. Gather around. It's time for Bronze League Heroes. Yay! All right, Forts fans. Welcome back to another episode here of Bronze League Heroes. Now, this one's a little bit interesting due to the timing in which this video was recorded because one of these players has since transitioned from Bronze League to the top tier. At least as of the ranked system in March 2021. Now, without further ado, let's introduce our players. On the left-hand side, Team 1. Playing Pinch Fist, it's Milroy. And on the right-hand side, pin on the channel once before, playing Pinch Fist, it's Noah. So, looking at these players here right now, you can see slightly different. Milroy going for the... Well, it defeats... Okay, if you add this this node in here, it defeats the purpose of building up this way. Um, but he had the right idea. Anyway, and Noah going here, still doing the, the one node. This is the old school way to move up here. The way that the uh, the typical top tier players do it is they do small, like, one by three bracings. They stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, and then connect one node up to here uh, in that way. But this is... Overall, is it game-changing? 50 metal, 400 energy? Eh. Top tier, top 10, top 5, probably. Uh, anything else? Eh, not really. Not really. Both players leaving their window here still, which is really good to see. Covering this up, Noah trying to be a little bit sneaky, but knowing not to connect the node. Now, I don't think he's aware that if you just grab this node and pull it straight down, uh, you somehow can magically connect it. Right, straight here. So, uh, that kind of... There you go. Right here. So, Milroy's done it. You connect it just straight down like that. Fills in the window. Allows you to hide some stuff back here, but doesn't spend the extra resources creating that additional node. Now, uh, looking here, we've got Armory from Milroy. Uh, he's got the two mines up here. Three mines up top now and two turbines. And what do we got over here for Noah? We've got the Armory's completed. Upgrade center almost finished. And it looks like we're going to be doing some sort of crazy rocket rush. So, is that crazy? Mm, probably not. Is it going to be crazy? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, looking like, yeah, so we've got two rocket bases down. Are we going to see, we're going to see three rocket bases. Are we going to see a flak? Uh, I would recommend doing at least one of those to be a shotgun. So again, here you can see Noah keeping the bracing off of the uh, uh, surface. What do we call this? Rock? Surface? Node? Uh, building? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank for this surface where we can connect to. The ground. The wall. Mm, not what I'm looking for. If I stumble across it, I'll let you guys know. Now, Milroy, a little bit behind on the rockets coming out here, but he's going to be doing some micro doors, which is going to be good here. You can see Noah also doing micro doors. Now, micro doors work very well on this map because you are such a close distance and you're literally firing straight across, which means your aiming arc doesn't need to be anything spectacular. Not that you can't adjust where the micro doors are anyway, right? If you were had these rockets up in a higher position, you could make the micro door the bottom part of this to give you the downward arc that you need. There's lots of other alternatives that you can do, or, or methods, I should say, not alternatives, methods that you can do to get these doors uh, to work in your favor while spending a little bit of resources. I love to see the upgraded flat cannon going into shotguns here. That's exactly what Noah should be doing. Is he going to keep one of these in EMP? Could not, uh, could not be a good idea. That's bad English. Could be a very good idea. Nope. Bad English again. Could be a very good idea to keep one as an EMP. Now, he, you can see here Milroy is very clearly understanding what Noah is doing and knows absolutely that rockets and EMPs are coming his direction. So he's making large wood spam to hopefully keep that EMP blast away. Now, Frank the Flak has easily taken out that entire volley of rockets. Let's be one, two, three, four, five. Four rockets and an EMP easily suppressed. Now he's going to bait out the Flaks with the EMP. This is where Milroy is going to need to focus very hard on maintaining proper AA control. This is where you have to have one of your AAs on a hotkey. Why is that? Because you only want one of them to fire by the computer and you want to manually fire the other one in case it misses or the player decides to do some crazy alternating jank. Like this. Firing one set. Right, you see how this door opened? You don't want that to happen. You want to make sure that one flak stays completely uh, not used here right now. The sniper, great shot from uh, Noah there. We missed that a little bit in the commentary. Took out the bottom flak cannon with one shot. Stupendous. Now, look at what Milroy's doing here. We talked about this in the last Bronze League Hero replay. Uh, not the last one, sorry, the one before that. Talking about making sure that you have your weapons coming from different angles. On the map Abyss, it is incredibly important to spread out 
your weapons for dealing damage. That means your snipers, your flax, your rockets, your cannons, everything on this map specifically should be spread out. You should build down a little bit, you should have some stuff in the middle, and you should have some stuff upwards and up top. That means it gives you the flexibility to attack a base from multiple angles. Now, as we can see here, Milroy is having a little bit of a hard time controlling his AA. Uh, and of course, I don't think he realized using the micro doors doesn't really allow this flak to do anything because its arc is only going to be on the top half of the map. That's actually going to cost him huge here right now. Spending time trying to build doors and get that bracing out. This flak could have actually been suppressing uh, suppressing this stuff. This is the situation right now that Milroy needs to get a sniper and he needs to take advantage of it. He needs to be, he's got, you can see there very clearly, he's got the rocket suppressed. He needs to get rid of the launchers now. Best way to do that is going to be a sniper. There it is. And uh, moving into tier 2 technology. You can puncture these with fire beams. You can puncture these with plasma beams. You can puncture these with cannons. You can pretend to do some damage with 20 mils. But his best bet, his cheapest alternative, and what what requires the highest skill curve is going to be taking advantage of those open doors with snipers. Now, hopefully Milroy here has done this and done both here. If he has a, a sniper up high, one in the middle and one down low, that is going to be key here for him to be able to secure the map control on this map at the moment. We can see him getting rid of one of the rocket launchers for what? And he's getting rid of the shotgun. No, he's moving the shotgun. Mm, what is he doing? He's moving some stuff around. Okay, so we're... Okay, so... So, this is actually really good to see. I just realized that munitions plant is one-third done. So, what Noah is going to be doing here... Uh, never mind. He just placed something down there. So, unless he's going to place a cannon in this location. Um, but he's also moving some things around. Bringing, bringing the rockets, separating them out a little bit more, which is going to be good. Now, you can see him. He's You can see Milroy there. He was sitting on a sniper waiting for an opportunity here. We got some double doors placed down by Noah. And Milroy. Yeah, going right for those tier twos. This is exactly what I would have done if you're, if, you're, if you're not skilled enough. That was actually a really good shot there from Milroy. He just, just missed hitting that rocket launcher if he didn't clip it. I don't see a repair. He's just reloading, so he must have just missed it. But, man, was it close. Um, if your if your sniper skills, excuse me, if your sniper skills aren't up to par, then moving and transitioning into tier two technology is your best bet. If you can just blast through the doors, rather than uh, trying to snipe through the doors, uh, you're you're gonna have a better you're gonna have a better game. Plain and simple. Now I would recommend that you try. He's gonna rebuild this straight across. Perfect. So that is where he's gonna put a cannon. I was correct there. And so what you're gonna see. Uh, no words English hard sometimes you just get lost you get sidetracked um, I was gonna talk about something to do with rockets mm, Cannons and then we weren't doing that and then we moved into something else. I honestly don't remember totally lost the train of thought there uh, Okay Moving into uh, Cannon is he gonna place another one he's got another one down here Great, and you can see there that the base is just covered by this background bracing, so he doesn't have to worry too much about him detecting it, other than he's got an angled door, which is a very clear indicator. It's most likely a cannon or a 20 mil. But again, Milroy... <clears throat> Excuse me. Milroy taking the... Uh the I don't know if it's the advice or if this is just how he plays, but from the from the what previous one of the previous Bronze League Heroes videos about uh, making sure your weapons are spaced out. So again, placing the cannon up here, placing the cannon down here. You know he's moving his weapons around, which is very important on, on the map abyss. That was a great cannon shot here. Uh, as we've know, we've talked about it many times in the replays before. Repairing your technology buildings is really expensive, and that's actually going to hurt this economy. Looking here too, that Noah is only on a four mine economy at the moment. Milroy just pushing onto his sixth mine. That is going to be a very very stable economy here he does need to add some additional turbines though to keep up with that metal generation keep in mind that each uh, regular oh another great shot another great shot keep in mind that each one of these mines is an additional or, or i should say a subtraction of 10 energy per second so he is going to be losing uh 60 uh, 60 energy per second which coming from two turbines and a core is going to be quite a lot so he's going to want to make sure to get his energy backed up uh, we've noticed this quite a lot on this map that players forget to add turbines uh, mainly because they start off with tier 1 technology and when they try and transition into tier 2 technology they don't have the uh, energy required to fire more than one cannon at a time. I'd like to see this. Milroy has got some splash damage onto the core here. 
looking good and retaliated with another cannon shot. So now Milroy is aware that the rockets have been replaced with cannons. Let's see if he adapts his playstyle to counter those cannons. Getting a big repair there. That's going to be expensive. Lots of bracing there. A couple metal doors. Um, we've got the flax here right now. So this is going to be one of those situations where he's going to want to make a judgment call here, Milroy. He's going to want to make a judgment call. This is two, four, six hundred metal he's got in flat cannons that are no longer needed. So that is an opportunity for him to make some, some hasty repairs. I love that. Going straight for the core. He needs to take advantage of this bottom cannon. Uh-oh. Things are bad. Let's hit the F8 key. We're sitting here at 10 minutes and 20 seconds. And now... We've both got uh, damage on each player's core. So, uh, you can see down here, Milroy doesn't have the energy required to fire this other cannon, though he built it and then never followed up with the proper economy. This is actually going to be detrimental to this game. And I bet you it's going to be a huge factor into whether or not he wins this game. And I can bet you right now, he's at, at this current stage, I, I don't see... I don't see Milroy taking this one unless he starts to get his economy up the way it needs to be. Now... Something Mil uh, Noah, sorry, excuse me. Something Noah should be looking at here right now is the exposed economy. One cannon shot up there takes out his two turbines, basically leaves Milroy completely defenseless. As then he can't retaliate with anything. He's, his flat cannons won't be able to fire because the, there won't be any energy production. A simple cannon shot here right now using this upper cannon will be the perfect tactic to brace things down. Instead, he's going to spend additional energy that he's not producing to add additional nodes onto his base. This is absolutely not the right play. This is very disappointing to see this. Milroy is taking an absolute crap kicking here right now, and he is not adding additional turbines. This is key. You cannot run two cannons off of two turbines. It's just not possible. He should be at four or five turbines by now at least, especially with the 10 metal drain per mine here. Uh, you know, that's a, that's, a big, that's a big amount. That's a big amount, and he's not going to have the energy to follow up here. This is the second time we've seen this now, that players haven't followed up with the proper energy production here right now. Even the one additional mine here is giving Noah enough to fire his two cannons uh, in, a, in a far greater succession than Milroy's right now. He's doing some adding up here right now. Is he going to get some additional turbines? This is really important. Sell off, sell off the flat cannons and get some turbines. That's what he needs to do here. Can he hear me? Replay gods. Can he hear Synergy speaking? No, he's just he just covered them up. Sell off the flax because you're not using them and add some turbines, my friend. That is the correct play here. Uh, both players are having some serious core damage done here. Milroy trying to spam a bunch of wood in front of his core to try and... and ah! Interesting, interesting idea there. I like that. Disconnects there. Unfortunately, he didn't quite get it the way he needed to. Noah's APM drastically suffering. There's the connection there. It took almost 10 seconds to reconnect to his economy. And Milroy. That finally! Almost six minutes too late getting his turbines there. That is really, really disappointing to see that. Hopefully, this will give him the opportunity to now to make a bit of a comeback. Problem is, though, is that Milroy shot at Noah's economy, and now Noah's going to be ticked and maybe make maybe make the, the retaliation shot. Yeah, no point firing the flag. Just a waste of energy. And he doesn't. Noah's stuck and, and fixated on destroying that core. Adding some more splash damage on there, but he's got four. Milroy has four turbines now. This is this is his opportunity to make the comeback right now. He needs to make sure that this bottom cannon is ready for a door snipe. That's what he needs to focus on right now. He needs to wait with the bottom cannon, wait to hear the doors, and take a guess. Next time. Oh, disappointing. Okay. Um, interesting. Noah is in a commanding, uh, commanding map control situation here right now. Absolutely. Uh, making Milroy play completely defensive, uh, playing... He can't play very preemptively because he's not sure exactly what to expect from Noah. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I'm probably shooting at the doors, to be blatantly honest. That's probably what I would do. Or at least maybe you could take out that bottom cannon. Oh, great shot from Noah! Right in here into the meat and veg of this base. Milroy's, Milroy's core is absolutely smoking like crazy. Once again, developers, I would really like to see some actual damage done to these cores. You could have it at 100%, uh, 75%, 50%, 25%, and like a 10%, you know, with, with just some cracks and maybe some green or blue glow coming out of it. Would be kind of cool. Um, doesn't even have to be animated. Literally could just be a still that shows some crackage to give us a, a much better indicator than the smoke. Great shots coming from Noah. Looking 
looking in a very good situation here. Milroy just doing whatever he can to save this cannon. Unfortunately, still has the 600 metal tied up in his flat cannons that aren't doing anything. He could be using those to attack the economy up here. He could be uh, using these two flax, actually, to be taking out the turbines. He could be using a sniper to harass the turbines. Uh, there's a lot of plays here that Milroy could be doing that he's just not, he's just not following up with here. Um, and that is, a, you know, a, a very strong limitation to APM. I mean, he wants to place down another cannon. He could sell one, two, three. This is not a good situation for Milroy to be in here. We can see that Noah is just chipping away ever so slowly at this core. He doesn't even have to protect anything anymore. As long as Noah is able to do some splash onto that core, it's going to be GG here in enough time. I, I don't think Milroy has has the uh, the APM currently at the moment to to make a comeback here. Again, one, two, th uh, three flat cannons. At least these two could be doing damage up here. The sniper could be harassing his energy. Um, could add another turbine. There's many, many things here. He's selling off the cannon for additional resources. He's going to solid uh, solidify all this in here to help prevent the splash damage from reaching the core. That's going to give him a bunch of metal. He needs to do something with it. Additional turbines, battery storages. Um, and make sure he's got the energy to fire his weapons. He needs to get rid of these flax. Uh, Noah just continuously adding additional damage onto his base. This is looking really good for Noah right now. Definitely not a position I'd put a battery in. Um, that's a little dicey. But uh, he is kind of out of a situation. You could actually build it here and then place the battery up here. Because uh, it's kind of hidden. You can't place another turbine there, so a battery would work out relatively decent. And if that battery gets hit, everything else is already blown up anyway to get to the battery, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, if it does detonate. Uh, again, here. Uh, just a slugfest back and forth. Unfortunately, as we've mentioned before, Milroy is just not going to be able to bring this back here. Not utilizing the flax of the snipers. Um, just just going to be in a tanking battle here. If, if Noah gets the opportunity to fire all three of these simultaneously, he could take a massive chunk out of the cheddar out of the front of Milroy's base here and basically win it. And, it oh man. Now, we've talked about this in a couple of these Abyss matches. Hitting this node right here can usually be GG. Right? If you don't have to go right for the core, if you take out this node here, right here, in most cases, the whole base just rips off the wall and falls into the abyss. See what I did there? Yeah. I thought of that all by myself. <laughs> Alright, we're just waiting on Noah here and Howie. And Howie just to get rid of the cheddar. I think that's actually a really good play here. Uh, he could have gone with with uh, swarm launcher down here, warheads or things like that, but I think staying with his tier 2 technology, the munitions plant... Um, I said that really funny. Munitions plant. Uh, the howitzer, actually, if he just drops that in there, he can take out a huge chunk of this cheddar and then triple cannon shot right to the core and win the game. Uh, there we go. Milroy finally selling off one of the flat cannons as he's realized it's not doing anything. If he's not going to fire it at those, at those turbines, then he needs to uh, sell them. Absolutely. Um, he's, again, here, he's got the, the wood space. Noah, playing a great game. For those of you guys that haven't followed Noah too much on this channel, he has gotten substantially better. This replay is a little bit old, um, but we're going to have a couple new ones from him as well. So make sure to keep your eyes out for Noah, and uh, you'll be able to see the improvements he's made from video to video. It's uh, it's quite impressive, actually. Quite impressive. Uh, Noah, I'm not sure what he's planning on here. If he just is just, just firing at random or if he has a strategy, because he knows that there's cannons down here. He could be hitting these metal doors and really stressing out the economy of this pinch fist player, but instead is not. So, I believe that to be a mistake from Noah. Either aim up here and take out this economy, or aim down here and take out the doors and the weapons if you're not going to fire straight at the core. Ah, uh, he probably doesn't have the angle because of the micro doors. That's probably why. That's probably why. Um... You know what? You know what? I don't think Milroy has noticed. If this cannon finishes, he might have an opportunity to clip this battery right here. If he shoots on a proper angle, he might be able to clip that battery and win the game. True story. He could. Or clip the core, clip the battery. He could shoot from underneath. He could. He gets one shot, though, because then he'll armor it up. But he could with this cannon down here. I bet you he could. Uh, but we got the Howie finish here right now. This is going to be incredibly detrimental for... Oh, yeah. Okay, not sure I would have aimed there. Um, from this position, 
He needs to fire at like zero power. Zero power, full horizontal, should drop it right into this cheddar. But it's looking like he's going to go to try to rip the base off of the platform or off of the wall rather than just hitting the core and trying to go through all this cheddar here. Um, makes sense. I think that's logical on Abyss. Um, actually, I think that is the play, to be blatantly honest. If you wanted to do economic damage, uh, like I said, full horizontal, zero power, should drop it right about here onto this, uh, onto the, the cheddar in front of... Uh, Milroy's core here, but if he wants to disconnect him from the wall, then he's doing it absolutely correctly, in my opinion. So, activates the ability. He's going to fire a whole crap load of stuff here. Takes out a bunch of cheddar there, and Noah is going to e-fire his cannons. Bango. Bongo. Oh, he's so slow. There it is. Great shots from Noah. Unfortunately, Milroy just missing a couple little plays that he could have done there in order to uh, in order to, to make some uh, some advantages there. Again, using his flax to take out those turbines and a few things like that uh, would have really made a, a big game changer in this map. Noah had an absolutely commanding lead right from the beginning and played very, very well. Uh, congratulations to both players. Guys, that was Milroy versus Noah. Pinch Fist versus Pinch Fist.